What happens after I file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy petition? Find out today on Bankruptcy Basics. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a bankruptcy paralegal here at Arm Lawyers in Attorney Patrick Best's office. Today, I wanted to just take you step by step through what happens after you file your Chapter 13 bankruptcy with our office. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you will receive notice that we filed your bankruptcy. You will either get an email from me or you will get a copy of everything in the mail if that's the way we communicate with you. The first thing you'll receive is your notice of bankruptcy case filing. This is the form provided to us by the court. It has your case number. It also lists your trustee if they've already been assigned to you. This is gonna be very important. You will need your case number multiple times through the process to take your second and final online credit course, as well as registering for your online payment to the bankruptcy court. So make sure you keep this handy. You can also use this to prove to anyone that you filed bankruptcy. So if someone comes knocking at your door, a creditor, the sheriff, you can give that to them, let them know you filed bankruptcy. They cannot contact you. You're protected by the automatic stay. So the other items that you'll receive are a letter that sort of details exactly what the next steps are. Our suggestion is almost always to just go ahead and take the second and final online credit course first. You'll get a flyer from a company called BE Advisor. We found they have one of the lowest cost second courses as well as great customer service. So they'll be able to walk you through step by step. The flyer will show you how to register, how to make an account, and they will also file the certificate with the court for us so it's done we don't have to worry about it getting lost in fax or email it's filed with the court and you're done if for some reason we get to the end of your bankruptcy and this form is not filed with the court you will not get a discharge so it is very important that it is filed with the court sooner rather than later the second thing that you're going to get is a flyer from tfs TFS is an online bill pay service so that you can register and have your payments to the bankruptcy court be automatically deducted. You would set up an account with them, you would log in, you would need your case number again, you would need to know who your trustee is, as well as your district. So that information will all be provided again in that email or letter you receive from our office. TFS is also great because we are able to log in on our end to see if you have any payments pending, if your account has been suspended for deficient funds, and to just keep track of everything that's going on on that end. So we always recommend you use TFS. You can send a money order, you can send a certified check. Those can get lost in the mail or can't be properly applied to your account. So we really recommend all of our clients use TFS. In addition to information on setting up your TFS account and taking the on second online credit course, there will be information on your upcoming 341 meeting. In the link below, there'll be information on each specific district's 341 meeting and what the requirements are for each trustee. But there are some things that are the same no matter who your trustee is. One of those things is we must provide your most recently filed tax returns. Those are your federally filed returns, not your state. And we must have those to the trustee at least seven days prior to your 341 meeting. If they are not submitted to the bankruptcy trustee at least seven days before, the trustee will not hold your 341 meeting. He will continue it. You will have to go again. So our office should already have a copy of those returns. If for some reason we don't, we will let you know. We will need them as soon as possible. The other thing that you will need in preparation for that meeting is to make sure you have your driver's license and social security card. They will make sure you are who you say you are and verify your driver's license and social security card. So we do need you to have those with you at the time of the 341 meeting. You will go, you will appear before the trustee. He will ask you some questions. Did someone from our office go over these documents with you? Do you have any questions? Are all of your assets listed? It's nothing that you don't know the answers to and someone from our office will be appearing with you. Some other things to keep in mind as you move forward from the filing of your bankruptcy is making sure that you're keeping up with other payments. You may be still paying your mortgage or your rent or your car payment outside of the bankruptcy. If so, you must keep current. The bankruptcy court protects you from creditor actions, but if you fall behind on any of those payments, the creditors can petition the court for relief, which would allow them to either start the foreclosure process or the repossession process. You must make sure those payments are being made on time. 
If you fall behind, you must let our office know. We can fix almost anything if we know about it. But please keep us updated. In addition to making those payments on time, you must also keep us posted if any of the assets included in your bankruptcy are compromised. If we're paying a car payment in the bankruptcy and the car becomes totaled, let us know. We can always make corrections, but we have to know about them. A Chapter 13 bankruptcy is a long road, but we're here to stand beside you and help you through the entire time. Never hesitate to reach out to let us know if there's a situation. Our office is always ready to help. We look forward to hearing from you.